Hi, I'm Brian Worley from the Photographer Academy. And in this video, we're gonna look at the Tether Tools Case Air uh, remote wireless unit, which lets you add wireless to your Canon and Nikon SLR camera, such that you can control the camera and use live view and transfer pictures to and from an iPad or a tablet, uh, or even your computer. Now, when you add the Case Air, the top it just plugs straight in to the USB connection. There's a number of different cables for different kinds of cameras because they all have different plugs. And the, it, it creates a wireless network that you connect your iPad or your iPhone or your laptop to, and then you run the Case Air app. So that's available from uh, the various stores, so that's from the Play Store or from the, from the Apple Store um, for these and for Windows and also for Mac. Then once you run the app, it connects to the network created by the Case Air remote and you've now got full remote control of the app. You've got focusing, um, live view, you can shoot and you can transfer pictures. Interestingly, the Case Air also adds the ability to do automated focus stacking. So if you're shooting macro and you need to get focus consistently through your subject, it will do that automated stacking for you, shifting the focus for every frame. And you can set an amount of change between each frame and also a number of shots. Of course, you've got the usual kind of remote control of the camera settings, so you can change shutter speeds, apertures, all those good things. And um, it works really, really well. It's very simple to set up, plug it in, switch the camera on, and pretty much you're good to go. And here we've got it hooked up to a 7D Mark II. So let's just have a quick look at the app on the iPad. So here we have the Case Remote app on the iPad. And we can, we've got the basics to be able to take a picture. Just press the, press the shutter button and we can access to the settings. Alternatively, we've got a live view capability. We put the camera into live view and you can see there we've got the usual kind of abilities and we can, drop, we can ask the camera to refocus. Um, we've got access to the settings so we can make changes to ISO shutter speeds as we like and obviously still take pictures. But if we want to go for more, we've also got bracketing options and focus stacking, HDR, time lapse, and also the ability to move, uh, record movies. Now the movies are stored on the card and you can transfer them to the iPad afterwards. One of the other things you can do with the Tether Tools Case Air is transfer your pictures from the camera into your iPad or your computer. So it gives you the ability to read whatever's on the card and transfer it in. So simply we select the albums and that brings up thumbnails of each of the pictures that are within the camera and on its cards. Let's just go and choose one of the pictures to display. So you just tap on the screen, select the one you want. You can click multiple ones if you need to, to bring in a group of pictures. And here's our picture there. And we just hit the download button and this will now download this one into our camera roll on our iPad. So we can now use that one straight from, straight from the iPad to share on social media. So it's great to view your pictures on a bigger screen. Um, certainly the iPad is one step up from the camera's LCD. But if you want to make that another step forward, then you can, t you can also use the exact same Case Air with the Case Air remote app on a laptop. And then you can transfer the pictures to your laptop as well. And we're going to show you that in the next step. As you can see, we've now swapped to the laptop and we're using the Case Remote application, uh, both available for Windows and Mac. So we click on that to start it up. It indicates that we're connected because we've pre-set up the network so that the, cam the camera and the laptop are connected. Choose Connect, and that brings up the app. Within the Case Remote app, much like we can do with the iPad, we've got the ability to do a live view shoot. So that will bring up a live view, exactly what the camera sees, same as live view, most things. So we're able to do remote live view. Um, you can drive the focus from the application, make changes to the camera settings, um, all, of the, all of the usual things that you'd like to expect to be able to do. The app also adds the ability to do additional bracketing options, um, to do bulb exposures, and also focus stacking. So if you're shooting uh, detailed subjects or food or macro very close up, where you need a continuous depth of field and it's not possible, regardless of how far you stop your lens down, you can do that all within the app. There's also HDR and you can use movie, movie shooting. So now we're gonna look at the photos that are stored on the card. Um, we've got our thumbnails, they're loaded in through the 
uh, app here. So we can choose a thumbnail, we can give that the ability to zoom in and check for real detail. So it pulls the picture from the camera and loads it up in preview here, just the default photo view on the Mac. And so we can see a nice large preview. You can also choose multiple pictures. If you want to transfer a number of pictures into your computer, you can choose multiple ones and then you'd hit the download and that would transfer pictures into your computer for you to use as you like. Transferring raw files takes a lot longer than a JPEG because obviously they're a much larger file. So that's the Case Air Remote. It's a really good device to add Wi-Fi capability to your camera, whether it's a Nikon or a Canon camera and doesn't have Wi-Fi. The unit itself is self-contained. It's a rechargeable battery in there that just charges through a USB connection. So you can plug it into your laptop, charge it from your laptop. And the battery life lasts about six hours in normal use. Um, and it's simple as it a power switch, plug the cables in, and that's all you need to do at the camera side and you just run the app on the computer. You can also use the same app if you're going to shoot tethered. So you can actually have this set up on the camera and just shoot tethered um, without a wire so that the pictures come in through the case app and then you can use a hot folder and automatically import those into Lightroom or into Capture One, whatever software you choose to manage the pictures with. So all in all, a great tool and worthy addition to your camera, particularly if you don't have Wi-Fi already built in and you want to use a wireless solution.